Hey, cut the crap. I want to know right now why you two weren't able to cap recapture the tag team belts. First you lose to Camp Cornette, which even more pissed me off. And now you can't even beat Beer Money Inc. You know what? I'm done hearing from your excuses. You both are fired. But boss, it wasn't my fault. This fat tub of lard over here can't even do anything correctly. It must be nice to be all muscle, no brain. Jackass, I'm right here. If you want to settle it, we can do it right now, back. I got no problem kicking your ass. Enough. I've had enough of this. I'm out of here. What a way for the Nexus to go out like that ending. I can't believe that. Husky Harrison, Mason Ryan being fired. Now, as we go into our next match of the night, New Age Championship, Eric Rollison versus Arn Anderson. And it seems Eric Rollison's in some backup in Diamond Dallas Pages. Arn Anderson has called on Rick Flair to help him. Which is going to be interesting as you're going to see Diamond Dallas Page and Ric Flair collide in the first episode of GWF Adrenaline of the next, second season. See, we're coming in. Now rolls and makes his way down to the ring. And now he's ready to go, you can see. He's trying to find himself again. Because after losing the GWF Joy Championship, he's disappeared. Seems lost now. And you can see the challenge is coming on down to the ring here. He's fired up and ready to go. And I can't believe he's here tonight. He's ready. Looking for a rematch. Try to get his belt back. We're trying to get this one after they jumped him before his matchup. Fall brawl and they hit him with that chair. Hit him and Steve Malenko. Hit him with a chair, and that was unfair. Though. And it took a lot out of Rollins, and he kept getting back up. But at the end, it was too much, and he got lost his belt. And he's been looking to get it back, so he hired some backup tonight. And the four horsemen weren't successful either getting the tag belt. Rollins is all fired up and ready. Now, who's going to win tonight? You see titles change hands like crazy tonight. New television champion, new hardcore champion, new tag team champion. What's next? See Anderson coming down to the ring and double A enforcer. Fans chair on. They're booing him. Sky is cause a lot of problems. He's one of the few looks like could become a first triple crown champion. Former tag team champion, current new age champion. All he needs is universal title ring to qualify. He's marching down to the ring now. I can't believe we've been going on this long into the show. I give everybody credit for watching the show. And I thank you for both watching the show and subscribing to the GF Up for this entire run, this entire season. It's been fun. After this show, we are done for a, a month. We'll be back probably in June. Time, late January, early February, probably. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. As you can see, the forces enter the ring now. And there's Rick Flair outside to bring the guard. And to make sure nothing goes wrong. Now, go. Anderson's entering the ring. And the fans are pulling him. Guy won the New Age Championship. And he's celebrating. You see, he's holding the belt. Horsemen have been dominant. They're trying to regain some footing ever since Warpath left. They've fallen badly. See, he's holding the belt. Rolls and waits outside the ring. Go now. You see, the ref's got the belt there, the New Age Championship, and he's going to raise it. And now, there we go. This is all it's about right now. See here, the fans are going nuts. Whoever wins gets it. Whoever wins has earned it. The end of it all. You guys see they lock up again. Now that body slam there from double A. Knee to the face and the fans are going nuts right now. They've been here all night with us. Especially that ridiculously long tag team match. I don't know why it went that long. But it was good though. You see that Russian leg sweep as Anderson's. 
I've been up lately. You know, he nearly killed Rolls and he blew up his car and nearly injured him. And that lariat there it sends him right down to the mat. So he's holding his head there. He since filled it up now. That punch. Now he's got him from behind. You don't want to mess with Rollis in here. You see here, that move there, he nails it. DDP looks concerned. I'd be too. Your guy ain't doing too good right now. So, this is going to be craziness. Right, as far as Rollis is dazed. Now he's got him from behind there. Now he just slams him right to the mat again. The fans are chanting. Here yeah, now he's got he's no you can't do that. He just removed that turnbuckle and now he sends it to the other corner. That running clothesline sends the Rollison to the mat. Rollison gets hit with that axe handle. And now that chop to the skull there. Now that he sends him into the ropes there now he's doing something he's gone from behind. Now he's gonna try to Irish whip him again. It's this says it worked out. Herbert Karana nails it. Now, he's climbing those ropes here and he's going to try to fly, I think. Yeah, and he connects to that clothesline halfway across the ring. You got to buy that athleticism, folks. And he does it again, that clothesline. And he's taunting the crowd right now. He's in control of this matchup. That Iron Anderson's having now that he sends him flying to the mat after that punch. And now the Irish whoops him there. That hip toss, and now he's got his neck. Now he's dragging him. He's gonna send him. Ooh! That was unfair, ref. Now that knee to the face. Now Anderson's in control right now. Now he's got him. He just slams him back down again. Anderson's in control there with those kicks. Kicks now. He's taunting. He's signaling the end. He picks him up. And now he's going for a suplex. At front suplex. And there he goes down to the mat. When Rolson isn't staying down. He's fighting out of it. He's come back. Now he gets get to that spine buster. Could this be all over? Now he's going to do it again. The soup. So Rolson counters and hits a suplex of his own. Rollison's fired up right now. You know, he nails that dive and drop kick off the top rope. Now he's getting ready to pick him up. He might try to flip the switch. I don't know. Rollison's got the advantage. But Anderson counters into a headlock there now. He's got that arm. He's wrenching on it. Now he stomps him in the face there. Now that leg... That wheelbarrow kick, that elbow to the stomach. Now Anderson's being grappled with. Now he's getting ready to get uppercut there. An uppercut. Now Rolls is getting the crowd behind him. Now he's getting ready to get him from behind here. Now he's getting ready for a better suplex there. Now Anderson's back down on the mat. Now he's wrenching away at that arm. He's trying to injure him. He's trying to do whatever it takes to win. Now, he's punched him. Now he slapped him across the face again. Now he chops him, sends him to the mat. He stomps on his gut. Now, here we go. A clothesline there. Now he's climbing the top rope here. That diving headbutt. Now he's picking him up. He might try to flip the switch here. Kill switch engage. Right on them. Could this be it? He goes for the pin. Uh, Anderson was right near the rope, so he automatically knew where he was. Now that shot. They're brawling now. And that Irish whipped him. Now he climbs out the ring. Now he sends him over those steel steps and Flair's right there. And Flair's getting him as he takes the ref out, Anderson. 
Now Anderson comes outside the ring. And now, no, no, no. He's got a chair now. He just hit Rollison with it from behind. Now he hits him again. And a third time. The ref's out. No! <laughs> he just actually hit Flair with it. And that was unfair. Ref was out. He just brought a chair into it. Like that. That's some dirty moves right there. That chop to the chest. And Irish whipped him back into that corner there to expose turnbuckle. As you can see, Rollison feels it. Now another clothesline coming up here. He's building momentum right now with that knee to the face. Now he's picking him up. Now body slam. He's hurt. Rollison's dazed right now. Rollison doesn't even know where he is probably right now. That front and suplex. And now... Oh, Anderson's on top yet again. As he attacks um, DDP on the outside. As he goes for the cover. One. Two. Anderson just kicks. Rollison kicks out. And Anderson doesn't understand it. Anderson. Rollison just fired up right now. Those punches. And now. That Russian leg sweep coming up. Sending him to the mat. These two fought back. Time and time again, that diving splash off the top rope that rolls and it's like he's her, he's holding his head, and then he hits this. He sends him to the man. Flair doesn't know what to do right now. Flair looks upset. That's an Irish whip him into the turnbuckle. Now, Hurricanrana. Now he's picking him up. Now he's punching him. Now he's getting ready to put him on those ropes there as he steps up. He's hurting him badly. Moving. Flair's mad right now. He's scared. He's yelling some somebody here. See here, he's got him on the ropes yet again. On top right now. Rollison's on top right now again. He's doing everything to win. He's going all out right now. He's pulling every move he can in his playbook out display right now. And now he just chopped him to the ground. And now he's climbing the top rope. He's going for that dive and splash headbutt. He's on fire now. He's going to go for it again. He's going to try to flip that switch one more time and hopefully this time it works. He's going for a suplex. Him. Now he's going for a pin. One, two. No, Anderson kicks out. Anderson keeps coming back, and Rollison doesn't understand this. That kick right there, and those punches. Everything's being thrown out the window right now. See, history is going to be made tonight. As Anderson and Rollison collide with that chop. And then he kicked him in the gut there. Now he's picking him up. He chopped him one more time. Would this be it? As he's getting ready to walk on that figure four leg lock which his friend taught him. He's not let go as the refs count because it's a rope break. When the refs had a three count. He finally releases the hold. Rolls and holds on to those legs. Now he's picking him up. He's placing him on those ropes. This is going to hurt. So he's, he's riding the ropes right now. Rollison's hurting right now, as you can see. Now he lets go, and Rollison's on the ground in pain again. Rollison's to hide everything. Now he's getting locked in the camel clutch here. And I think the ref's distracted. Rollison counters out and just slams Anderson to the mat. Thankfully, DDP distracted the ref that time. Anderson counters there. That chop across the chest. Now he's going to drag him into those. He's got his head here. Now he's going for a suplex. 
now. This, could this be the Zanderson's building up the steam right now? Now that knee to the face. Ooh, he's been busted open. He's bleeding. See the blood just pouring out his skull right now. Now a suplex is coming up. Anderson's back in control yet again. And here goes that spine buster. Now he's going for the cover. But DDP comes out again. Thank the save. And I think the refs had enough of him. Uh, he's back up. There's Rollison struggling to kick out here. Rollison might have been knocked up. Oh, he kicks out now. I think the refs had enough of DDP. And DDP's being thrown out of here as he's walking away. Sound of Sam Rollison right now. Now he's got his head to bust it open right now. And he's going to go for that suplex. Let's see if he can end it now. There's he's locking on that figure four leg lock. Rolls and struggling right now. He's trying to fight out of it. Let's see, is this. Will he tap? Is he stuck in the middle of the ring right now? He's stuck. There's no way for him to get out. He's got to try to power out, but I don't think he's got it in him anymore. So here, will Rollis and tap here? Or will he manage to reverse it? And he pulls it out. He reversed it. You see Anderson struggling now. Get free in pain. Just throwing out a Rollison's head right now. You can see Anderson's hurt. You can see he's holding his ribs here. Rollison's got his head. Oh no, don't you do this. Ooh. He's just banging his head into that exposed turnbuckle and the blood just going everywhere. Blood just gushing right out of his skull. Now he's coming from behind here with that Russian leg sweep. See the blood just falling out like a fountain right now. What's flowing? Now he's going to try to duck, walk that figure four on again. Will Rollison tap here? And he's struggling right now. He's stuck in the ring. And now. Yes, he taps, but what a match. You see the blood was pouring. It was not enough. Art Anderson retains his belt. See, the horsemen have done it. Art Anderson still the New Age champion, as you can see on the replay. Here, he fought out of everything. Rollis had tried. He kept trying to come back, but tonight wasn't his night. Yeah, they nailed that suplex. That front suplex, it was all over. You could tell from the minute the bell rang after he was busted open. He was not going to win. He wasn't walking away. And Fisher, when he used those steel turnbuckle, exposed turnbuckle, and he rammed his head into it. You saw the blood just spilling right there. And here he goes, you see. And just celebrates in the ring here. And now, we got to go to a minor commercial break as he celebrates. Well, stay tuned for more action from GWF World War as our main event between Bill O'Tree and Joe Hennig in the Hell in a Cell match is coming up next, ladies and gentlemen. At Road to Rebirth, Rally Star shocked the world. But can he do it again? URWL Rookie Rally Star kicks off the show when he faces multiple-time URWL Champion, The Commander. And in the main event, Barry White squares off against Alexander Kulishov in a Title IV title match to unify the URWL Internet title and Russian Championship. All of this and more on the return of URWL High Stakes. Check your local listings for time and channel. Every team in the NHL wants to take down the team that wins the cup. It'll be no different this year. This year, we need to work even harder. 
They'll all be coming for us. You know what? I like that. Go, ladies and gentlemen, to the main event, which is a Hell in a Cell match. You see Joe heading his good old dream. He's off for the, the Universal Championship. As you see, who will win tonight? Who will walk out with the Universal Championship? Joe Hennig has been dominant since he showed up at Summerfest and won the belt. He's held it this far. As you see, the Nexus is no more. So what's going to happen tonight? This hell in a cell match, nobody's allowed in. There's only one way to victory, and that's by pinfall or submission. And that's it. Will Good Old Tree do it tonight? Will Joe Hennig walk out the season and prove why he's the perfect wrestler? Why he is absolutely perfection. Now, here we go as he enters the ring. Now he's gonna climb in now as you see the cell above. Now, this guy's gonna become the next breakout star. I believe without the Nexus, he's gonna lead into the next generation of GWF. You can see here he comes, this man down to the ring. Bill Otree, the Bill Dozer. See, he's ready to go. He's been ready for this match for a long time. Every time he's gotten a title shot, he's been screwed. But tonight's the final night. Let's do a die time for him. Let's put up a shut up. So what I've been hearing backstage, he might not ever get another title shot. He loses tonight. This match was made by Mark Recky at the interview, which was a nice seeing him again. See, Bill Eltry's ready, as you can see. He's ready to go. He said he's been drinking light beer to get into shape for this matchup. He's been drinking the light Alamo beer. He ain't been drinking the regular beer. He looks better this night. See, he's ready to go. He looks like he's ready to kick some ass and take some names. To show you what he's capable of. See, here they've entered the ring. He's waiting for Joe Hen to come in. Don't you ready to go? Born ready. You can see he's running the ropes of parent. Now, as you can see, the ref has got the belt, and here we go. See, he's gonna raise the belt up. Now, as the we wait for the cell to get lowered, as the ref has the belt. Now, as you can see here, you're gonna see the cells being lowered. Now, as you can see, it's been lowered into place here. These two are gonna fight in this brutal environment. Whoever will win, whoever walks away from this or that running drop kick. Another drop kick there now. These two men, they just don't like each other. I see Joe Hanks got that chair from underneath the ring. Bill Troop just punches him, everything's legal. Now he's out from behind here and he's working that knee. Now he's got that chair there, now he's gonna do some damage just flung it. Now he's picked it up and now he's gonna hit him with the chair there. Now he's hitting him one more time. He just flung it aside there. Now what he wants to do, he's hitting him with the chair. Joe Hennig is just being overcome right now in pain. Did you see here that punch? Oh, and that chair just snapped in his face here. Now Bill Ocho has gone for that pile driver. Now the fans are going nuts right now. Who wants it more right now? Who's willing to go that distance? Who's willing to injure themselves just to make an impact? See, there's nothing underneath there. It's Joe Hennig's waiting for him to come back in the ring. And now he's coming from behind. That atomic drop, and there he goes to the mat. Here we go. As he hits him with that axe handle. Another axe handle. So, third time's a charm. If worth the first two, why not? Misses with that stomp though. Joe Hanks ready. He's telling Bill Tree right now he's ready to go in that kick. Now that close on. Ooh, he just hit the cell. Did you see that? Now he throws him into it. Now he's gonna. Oh! 
Oh, and that spine buster hit the cell. Ugh. Need some help here. She's ready to go right now, as he's gonna get sent over those steps. Ugh. Now, he's going for a weapon right now. He's got that sledgehammer. He's just him in the knee there. He's trying to disable him. Now he hit him again. Here we go, here. Now he's throwing him into the cell now. He's gonna do it again, I think. He's gonna slam him in, and then he's just gonna drop him one more time. Now he's picking up that sledgehammer, and he hits him with it. Now he breaks him in the eyes there. Now he's throwing him into the ring again. And he just elbows his throat there. Now he's picked up that sledgehammer and he's flung it into the ring. And see, he's getting something from underneath the ring, I think. He's reaching for something. He's got a chair there. Now Bill's got that hammer. And the hammer wins that time. You see, he went down. He's working those legs over. That right, run, Bulldog. These two are just going to go nuts right now in this match. It's going to be a straight up brawl. And he's see him send that chair up in those ropes. And he sends him to the ropes now. Now he throws him back into the ring. And now he's picking him up. To set this up. And oh! His head went through that chair. Bill just fell to the ground in pain. See here he's got that sledgehammer one more time. And he's working those knees. He's trying to disable Bill. And if Bill's knees don't work, he's not going to get back up. Bruno Trude's fighting out of it though. He's fighting through the pain. Trude, the one man left. That's when he is from day one. Injury after injury. He's fought for this matchup. He didn't win the hell in the cell, but he won the next best thing. He got clothesline again. He got sent to the cell. And he's dazed and confused. You can see here. He's going to throw him right back into the cell. These two men are just going to damage each other. They're trying to do everything in their power to hurt each other. Oh, uh, Joe Hanks climbed the top rope here. And that diving crush elbow from the top rope. Now he's trying to damage him. Now he's got him somewhere. And that, again. Ooh, the spine busters. We're going to kill him from hitting that cell wall. He hits that hand and cutter. One for the pin. One. Two. But Bill kicks out again. Bill just powers back out. No matter what's going to happen, he's going to keep fighting. Till he can't move anymore. And here we go with that suplex. Ooh. Now as you can see, the fans are behind Bill. Now as Bill's fighting back into it. Now here we go. Ooh, he just slammed him, body slammed him, showing him what the cell feels like. And the fans are chanting for Bills. You can see the chanting cowboy at him. Guy from Ireland, Texas. Now, Bills holding his gut now. He's holding it. That spine buster on the concrete floor. They're brawling out here. Now Bills climbed the top rope. The diamond axe handle right onto him. Now here we go, as he's going to try to suplex him. He nails it that time. Cell didn't break though. Cell's keeping him in. As you can see, here we go, I think. And now a suplex is coming. Oh! There goes the door. They're now on the outside. Here, and here we go, as Bill's getting ready for something big here. An eye rake. Now he's raking the back. Now, the cell is just engulfed the ring area. Is that brawling right now? He just threw him into it. He just threw him into that cell on the outside. The fans are going nuts here. You see the train for Bill. The fans everywhere right now. You can see they're out here right now. They're brawling. So Bill's going to climb it, I think. And yeah, he is. He's climbing the cell. He's going to wait for McGillicay and for Hennig to get up. Yeah, the brother. You want to call him Michael McGillicuddy or Joe Hennig. He's done a damn good job as champion here. The fans are on their feet. You can see here in the arena. 
the Staples Center, the fans are going nuts. This is wrestling at its best right now, at its finest. I don't care whether you like us or not. You gotta give Bill O'Tree credit as well. Joe Hennick's back up, and now they're cl he's climbing the cell. Now Joe Hennick has climbed up. So here, now they're ready to go. You can see they're hurt. Bill O'Tree just flipped him off. And that running neck breaker there from on top of the cell. They gotta be careful up here. They're 20 feet up. Now he's got from behind. Ooh. Thankfully the cell's still holding. Otherwise I'd be scared right now. These two men are gonna go through it all. As you can see the cell, I can see some tears happening here. See the cell slowly starting to give on them. You can see here, he's at the edge right now. Don't tell me, no, don't, no, don't. My God, he just got through that table from the top. And he might be out of it. I'm about he needs to get some help out here. And he's going to knock him down with that finisher. This has to be it. One. Two. No, Bill powers out again. He fought this off and now Bill's back at it. Now that fan, loudmouth fans here. Now that spine buster into the cell. Is that table just shattered from the impact. And now he's... Throwing the monitors aside, he's turned that table into it. What's more, his Bill got to prove. He's proved he can do everything. That back suplex there. Now it's table it. Not a Just can't believe Bill's back up. See him. Now McGillicuddy's turn. You can see Hennig's turn. I'm gonna slam him into the cell one more time. Now the fans are behind him right now. He does it again. He's just trying to brutalize the man. Now he's dazed. Now Bill's climbing back up after taking that plunge. I don't know how much more damage these two are going to put each other through. They're putting each other through hell right now. Their bodies are screaming in agony. You can see here. He's waiting right now. Bill's just waiting up there. He's regaining everything. This Hennick just waits down there. Hennick is dazed. This Bill Troops are regaining his breath. He had to... Then comes Joe Hennick back up as Bill took the plunge. You couldn't believe that one. No matter what they took Bill through, Bill keeps coming back. See here, he's working that arm. Now he's wrenching that arm up there. You can see the cell slowly starting to give from all the damage they're doing to each other up here. And that Chet Lemon press up there. What's Bill gonna do here? He's setting him up, I think. Here we go, the stunner, and it didn't break, thankfully. See, he's hurt. See, the cell's ready to give. Any minute now, this cell's gonna give. You can see it. It's starting to bend. Now, here we go. Here we go with a pile driver. That pile driver just broke the cell. Oh, my. Bill's still standing from it. He flips off Joe Hennick, and now he's going to go for the cover. One, two, no. Hennick kicks out one more time. These two are going to beat each other, and this is over. We're not even going to know what happened. But we're going to know who our universal champion is. These two men have just done everything they could possibly do to each other tonight. They've been thrown through the cell and off of the cell. What's next? You know, he's choking him. He's choking him. And this is the night of wrestling. This is the night of legends are made of. This is what defines a legend right now. How much you can give and how much you can take. 
be able to do it if they were that Chet Lemon press again. And he busted Tanning open. Hank is bleeding. Now Bill is just waiting. Bill is ready to go one more time. Pick him up again. Now he's getting ready for a suplex here. And he nails it. Joe Hennick, you can see the blood just pouring out of him like a fountain right now. Doesn't look pretty, is that cut? He's been cut up pretty badly. Now, Bill Ocher's at those steps. Oh, he's trying to injure him. He just flung him down. These two men have just thrown everything they can at each other. There's those steps again. Oh! He just slammed the steps into him and trapped him between the cell right now. He's just trying to rock in a hard place and he just flung those steps down. His bill is going back down again. Those steel steps being thrown at him. And now here we go. Bill True's being sent back in. But I don't know if he, what condition he could possibly be in. They're both pretty banged up. But you see Hennix picking up those steps and throwing them back into the match. Oh, and I think they just hit him in the skull there. You saw that. Now Bill Ultrae has been damaged as well. Hennix bleeding as you can see from the temple. The blood just going everywhere. And that move there. This move's going to hurt. Bill O'Tree ain't getting up right now. Bill is down. Now those steps again brought into the match. He slid him into the ring now. He's got that arm. He's going to try to do something here. That jawbreaker. Now he's picking him up. He's got those steel steps in his arms. Now he's trying to damage those legs. He's doing everything he can. Oh, and he just flung those steps on top of him. Bill Tree's down. And it's time to be scowling him out here. So could he go for here again? Here comes the perfect plex. It's the ref going down to count one, two. Uh, Bill kicks out luckily again. Bill keeps fighting out of it. Bill's done good though, this matchup. Him and Hennig are really damaging each other here. That death big elbow. Now he's trying to damage him, he's trying to bust him open as well. These two men have done everything they possibly can do to each other. Now he's stomping away at his back and that leg drop there. Now he's got it underneath the ring for a chair. Ooh! And he's bleeding right now from the skull. You can see the blood just pouring out of his head. He's hurting. He's hurting badly now. He's putting a chair on his leg. Oh! Now what's happening here? That kick it to the gut again. Now he's got the leg. He's gonna try to make him tap, I think. Slams his knee to the mat. He's looking for something, but there's nothing left. Oh, still steps are the pretty much the only thing left, and he's throwing that set in too. Now, what's gonna happen now here? Now he's picking him up again. Now that spine buster. Now he's picked him up again now. Oh! Now he's hurting right now. You can see Bill's in a lot of pain. Now, oh, and that kick to the side of the skull. The blood just flowing right now freely from his head. He's been cut up badly. Here we go for the perfect plex one more time. The ref's count one, two. Bill kicks out again. Bill just keeps fighting back. 
He's gonna keep going. You see the blood just dripping now. That elbow to the skull. Bill's on fire. He just flung him into those steps. Now he just threw him over there. Now Bill's hurt. You can see he's hurt. He tripped over that chair before it fell and rolled right out the ring. That tar dropped there. Now he's gonna try everything in his power to make sure Joe Hennig feels the pain as well. Here we go. That clothesline. Now here we go for our pile driver. Oh! Our pile driver there. Now Bill's holding his torso right now. Now he's going to go for a suplex it. Oh, I think his leg hit that step. I don't know, but it had to have hurt. That he's elbowing him in the skull there. Here we go for another pile driver. Bill's in control now. Oh, Trey's farther back. He's gonna bring the belt home, I think. And that Chet Lemon press. That punches to the skull. He's trying to bust Hennig open too. Okay, now here we go. With that stunner in the middle of the ring. As you can see, Hennig's body is twitching. He's not in any condition now. And here we go for our pin. One. Two. Three. And a new champion has been crowned at Bill Outrave. He's finally done it, ladies and gentlemen, for one last night. And the foul to show that he's done it. He's the new Universal Champion. And you gotta give him credit. He fought a hard battle, as you can see, when he went through this. And put right off the cell, and he came back after the Hennig hit her in the perfect flex. And then he came back with a stunner and won. See, he's celebrating. He's gonna be celebrating now. He's done it. He's brought the belt home. After the good guys, where it belongs, this man is he celebrates in the ring. Now the fans are going nuts here. He's holding the belt up high, the blood pouring from his skull. Here. And now, the fans are going nuts here. Now that you can see it, he's celebrating. He's earned it. You've done it, Bill. You deserve it. Now, you can see here. Wait a minute. The cell's up, and now he's looking at Joe Henry. He's taunting them. And now, wait a minute. What's this? What's Cody Rhodes doing out here? Wait a minute. No, he's hit him with that pipe. And now he's down. He's hitting him with that pipe, and now. Joe Hanks up. What's the meaning of this? Maybe we'll, we'll find out next season. I don't know. Between these two men. What's so going on? What's the alliance between Hennig and, and Rhodes? And now they've both left. And wait a minute. There's Barl Hager Jr. We haven't seen since he took the briefcase. Zach Ryder. Now he's taking out Bill. Here. Now. That chin with that chair. The chair's been bloodied from Bill's blood. You can see the blood just pouring from Bill's head there. Now he's got the chair around his neck. Oh! He's injuring Bill. He's beating him up. Maybe this is what he was talking about. About being his knight. Now he goes that green to Muskie from behind. And slams him to the mat. Now he's picking him up again. He's trying to make sure he can't move. As you can see, Bill just went through a hell of a match. And selling, he clotheslines him. Now he kicks him in the gut here now. What's going on here? DT in the center of the ring. He was attacked by Rhodes from behind that lead pipe. And then after that, he just went through a match with Joe Hennick, won the belt and no. What's going on here? He sent him into the ropes. Now that running power slam there. Now here it goes that roots rising drop. Wait a minute, what's going on here? He's dragging him to the center ring. He's going for the pin. One, two, three. 
What are you talking about? He shouldn't have won this way. You can't do that. As you can see, he's in busted open now. Wait a minute. Does that mean he just took in Sakurai's briefcase and cashed it in? And we got a new Universal Champion, apparently. His name is Merle Haggard Jr. Unbelievable. What a terrible way to end this season. We'll find out on Adrenaline whenever when we come back for our second season. You see here, Merle Haggard Jr. celebrates with the fans holding the belt up high. He did it. And folks, we're running out of time, so stay tuned for Adrenaline.